20 years or so after doing the Keep of Truck and you came back to Big Finish in one of the very yeah. earliest of the audio plays and it was kept totally secret that you were coming back. I think it was, um, it was interesting because, of course, Caroline John was in it as well. And yes. so all the publicity had all been about the fact that Caroline John was in the show and coming back. And I think I certainly looked at the cast, they saw you in it and just thought, oh, they've put you in it because Caroline's in it. And it hadn't occurred to me that what they were doing was a major switch. Yeah. And so I think it's the end of the first episode when it's revealed that, yeah. And of course, Mr. Sato, the master, um, when it's revealed that you're yeah. the master, it's such, it's such a surprise. And I, I remember I was living at Springwood at the time, being in the kitchen. And I remember just standing there being totally shocked and replaying, you know, putting the CD back in again to listen to that climax again, because I thought I must have missed that. And then I realized how stupid I'd been that the whole thing had been set up as a twist. So how, how did you get the core to come back to play the master? I can't remember. I think I was just, I was just, I suppose they must have had the idea because, yes, um, the writer probably had the idea, didn't they? Or somebody or a producer. You never know these things as, a, as an actor. You just get the call. You say, Will you, would you like to come along and play? The master again of course i said yes you bet and especially working with carrie because i always loved that that was always an opportunity to yes to, my, to my understanding with. is that big finish were, were trying at the time to get anthony ainley to come back um, oh yes it's and quite possible. I, th I think that uh didn't work out for whatever reason and um but i think the way they weaved your master into it was absolutely beautiful and paved the way for for decades of great stuff, so I'm glad that I'm glad that that's how it worked out. Yes, no, it was wonderful. I mean, the only problem now is that there are so many masters. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I was hoping I'd be the only one, but <laughs> <laughs> but I seem to have been usurped by hundreds of <laughs> hundreds of different kinds of masters, all all very good in different ways. It's very interesting. You're the only classic master, of course. I'm the only one that really counts. I should I should eliminate all the others. <laughs> um, so, do, do you have any me many memories of doing that first recording with Carrie and Dust Breeding? Uh, these things are very short, very often. So it would have been two days' work, perhaps. Um, you know, and you go into studio and you meet all the other people, and it's fun. But it's very hard to distinguish one job from another after a while if you're not careful. In the old days, like I remember more about um, my very first appearance with Carrie in um, uh, Ambassadors of Death, was it? It was, yes. yeah. Um, because we rehearsed for a, a week and we were in studio for three days or something. Whereas nowadays, uh, you just go into, you might be just going into work on a television for a day. And you might not meet the stars of the show at all, or know really much. You obviously read the whole script, but you won't know much about what else has been happening in the in the thing. So I, my memory is, you know, not good on on um, on individual like. So I will go in from time to time to play the master, and I get involved in the script, and I enjoy the script, and I can remember certain things about scripts um, uh, sometimes, but they tend, you know, it sounds awful, but they do take, you, you know, you're not there for long enough to, re to have many memories. I mean, of course I have memories of um, of Tom Baker because he, um, because he, he'll sit in a chair during a recording and he'll hold forth and he's the <laughs> He's, he's the most interesting person in the world to listen to. I mean, he, he he's just a fascinating raconteur of stories and things. You remember the people, of course. It's just that the uh, what happened on a show, like the stories of somebody dropping their coffee all over themselves, or do you know what I mean? It's the, those sort of stories that go. Of course, you remember the people, and uh, and and. Uh, Gradually, of course, you build up friendships with them if you go back enough times, as I have done now with the master uh, in Big Finish. Then, of course, you get to know uh, 
the the main people you're working with quite well, like Louise or or uh, or Tom. Yes. Yeah.